Okay. <laughs> so we're going to count nine blades, and then we're going to hit the mags, and then the boost pump will go low, mm -hmm. and then high. Okay. All right. Okay. Whatever you're ready. Turn in two. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mags on, boost pump on. Low. Low. Then high. It's now high. Uh, getting ready to start a new week and last week I was working on putting some covers in the wheel bays let me uh, show you what I got accomplished okay this cover you couldn't see in the light very well last week but it's just a couple of Zeus fasteners so this is the other cover and this is a spar box so this hose right here this goes down to the fuel selector valve this comes from the auxiliary tank this part here is an anti-skid device which back in the day was rudimentary it was added after world war ii and proved to be not a good thing so while this is in here, it's because of the piping we have, but in functionality, it's returned to what Douglas had originally. There's the uh, fuel quantity uh, float, essentially. Um, here's a, a junction box for most of the stuff going out on the wings and the engines. Uh, there's a switch right there that will basically cancel out the in travel light for the landing gear. In this wing we have the hydraulic pump for the air stair. Up here we have that box that needed the lid for it. This would have been for the emergency life raft. And most A26s do not have that that are still around. There's the cabling and the mechanism that operates that door. Um, we have a pipe up here that's for the vent for the uh, oil system for the for the uh, supercharger housing. Uh, basically a blow-by tube like you had in your old hot rods. This tube here is a battery vent if uh, back in the day the the batteries had to be vented because of the gases and then linkages for the landing gear here's the infamous right here is the infamous uh, emergency uplock release that we need to get the cable that goes from that lever it'll go up over the wing and into the cockpit and that's what I'm going to be working on today is trying to figure out what it is we need for length. So stand by. Talk about this emergency up block cable and right there is the attachment arm for the bell crank. And let's see if I can get you a little more detail up here. So the cable is going to come over the top of the wing and yank on that arm which is going to pull this short cable to pull this lock out of the way of the landing gear so it can retract. Okay, so, so then we have to make a somewhere since this airplane has been around there was a phenolic part that had a curve in it that the, the cable will come around the corner it'll feed up through here go around this phenolic block underneath the wing panel right here it'll get a deld across there It'll go through a hole right down there in the wing root. Then it'll go to the back of the pedestal and wind up on those. And there's John. Anyway, it'll end up on those phenolic blocks right there that the pilots can reach in the case of an emergency. So having said that, in my left pocket is the string that we've 
ran to find out the length that we need. And in the right pocket, the string that we have put on the other wing to measure the length that we need for it. So uh, hang on, we're going to find out how long these are. Well, I'm here inside the fuselage of the A26, and uh, one of our volunteers has been working in here. Let me introduce you. This is Nate. Howdy, folks. He's a, a local kid that likes to come down and help occasionally, and he's been in here doing some stuff. What have you been doing, Nate? Uh, so today, I've been tasked with taking up the floor panels. Uh, the floor panel for this side is right outside the bomb bay there. Um, it's nice, honeycomb structure, super lightweight, really good, stable floor. Um, so we've been taking them off and then going through down inside of all the crevices it's actually the bottom skin of the fuselage and vacuuming and cleaning all that garbage and fod and uh, debris and vacuuming it all out and then we're going to close it all up and be done with it for right now so partially way on the way to getting the interior all finished so one more thing off of our tick list to get exactly. this thing in the air exactly and it's hot and sweaty in here and jen didn't want to get in here so he tasked <laughs> me with it so i got it Okay, well, he'll get done with this, and uh, we'll move on to the next thing. Stand by. Okay, so I'm down here at the hangar, and we have a special guest. Um, I'm going to introduce you to a gentleman by the name of Brett Prusso. Hello. Brett Prusso runs a YouTube channel called Hal Hammer. <laughs> Hammer head model making. What I'll he say said. for you. <laughs> what he said. So... Uh, Brett and I have been talking for some time, uh, and as everybody that knows A26s know, there are no two of them alike. So you can't take a generic box of an A26 and have it be everybody's airplane. And ours, because it was an on-mark generated VIP transport, it's also different. <laughs> so Brent has, I don't know how happily he's agreed. <laughs> Very happily. But he's going to build a model of our airplane, including all of its on-mark modifications, the interior, the DC-6 brakes, the, the uh, turret delete. He's even got, uh, so the nose, the eight-gun nose that comes in the kits are not quite right. He has a resin uh, 3D file to make that. And if you go to his channel, and I'll leave the link down below, He's built some exquisite models. He did a K model here six months ago or so that's that's beautiful. He just dropped a video on a B1. It's a long watch, <laughs> but it's pretty informative, and he did a great job on it. So uh, I'm going to let Brett talk for a minute about his plans for our kit, and then I'm going to walk you over and show you the kits that he's going to use. Yeah, so... Um... We've got a lot of very specific modifications to the aircraft that we're going to have to replicate in 148 scale. And it's going to be a, a bit of a challenge, but definitely one that I am up for. And I think it's going to be, I mean, obviously it's going to be a very unique, it, are, it already is a unique aircraft, and it's going to be a very unique model. And I'm really happy that Bob reached out to me to do this, to collaborate, and to get to see this awesome piece of history here, because this is great. Okay, uh, stand by. We'll show you the kits that we're going to have. Well, the preliminary stuff we're going to have to do. So hang on. Okay, let's show you old versus new. So this one here is the old monogram kit that somebody built for us years ago, and we've been we've been kind of hard on it. <laughs> Landing gear is broke. One of the propeller blades is broke, but it you know. It helped us to understand what the plane was going to look like. Well, in recent years, there's a company called ICM, and they've come out with these really awesome kits. This is the B-26C, and they're calling them B-26s. They would have been A-26s. Here's the B model, and here's the K model. This is like Special K down in Fort Worth. So, Brett plan is to take the K model and the C model and put them together to make our aircraft. So he owns these two kits. 
and this one's mine and maybe one of these years i'll build it but there's a reason why you should it's a good kit should it's a good kit there's a reason why i asked brett <laughs> to build it so anyway. um so let me just i kind of want to talk about why we're using two kits here because basically there are parts from the k kit because it has the fairings for like because they have they don't have the turrets on uh, high maintenance here so we have those have been fared over so we can get parts for that. We can get the dual cockpit set up from the K model, as well as uh, engine detail and some other details from the, the K model. And then we're using the fuselage and the wings from the C model because it's it's more accurate to what we have here, as well as, like, like Bob mentioned, we're doing the 3D printed nose because that will correct the incorrectly shaped nose from the kit. So it's going to be amalgamation, but it's going to look awesome. And he's going to have it done tomorrow. <laughs> no, it's this is going to be this is going to be a task for him to do, and I'm going to check with in with him occasionally and see the progress that he's made on it, and hopefully you guys enjoy those videos. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to work. So, in conjunction with working with Brett Prusso on the A26 model, I'm here at the hobby store that provided the model for us to get built. So this is MRS Hobby Shop, and I'm proud to say that they worked with us to provide us with a stellar kit to build this model. And I'm... So in addition to plastic models, they have gaming supplies, they have all kinds of construction supplies, uh, paints, uh, tanks, all kinds of different models. A really good supply of stuff. A train that wanders around when it's running. Oh, that's cute. A pre-made storefront. Hot Wheels. And like I said before, gaming supplies. came into the hangar this morning and got some really good news we got a package so Jan what are you doing right now I'm unwinding the uh, pole cable for the emergency main gear unlock latching that they sent to us 